What is up you guys? It's Nat. Welcome to my video. Today I am bringing you a build collab. Um, I am in a collab with, let me pull up their names real quick, Ziminstead, Artsy Simmer, Plum Bella, and Smilin' Sims. And today we are collabing to bring you a trailer park. Cause why not? <laughs> to be quite honest, I've been wanting to build a trailer for a long time and had considered doing a trailer park myself, which I might do in the future eventually, but I don't know. It sounded like a fun collab and these are some of my friends. You should definitely go check them out. Their links will be down in the description below. Um, please go give them a follow on Twitter. Make sure you check out their YouTube channels and make sure you check out their videos for this collab. But um, yeah, this is available for download in the Sims 4 gallery. Um, I threw my hashtag in there, but I'm sure if you just search like, you know, trailer park, um, or search one of our usernames, you'll probably find it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I want to talk about really quickly. Um, I don't want to confuse anyone. I noticed when I jumped into the uh, the file for this uh, this collab, I guess the like save file, or whatever. Um, everyone else was building like you know, I think what you would assume is like traditional trailers um, in a trailer park home or like a mobile home, um, which I was thinking about doing. But I live right by a trailer park. And they do have some of those like traditional kind of like trailers, but they also have these like basically just smaller homes. They're like little mobile homes, but they look like traditional houses. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know how to describe it. I'll try to throw in a picture of one, I guess, if I can find one on Google, because I'm not going to just walk over to the trailer park and take a picture of someone's house because that's really awkward. But I don't live in one, so I can't take a picture of my own. <laughs> um, but I don't know, you guys. I was I had like just done a modern home before this. I think it was like when I did the five by five challenge again. Uh, which was up on Monday. So I just was like, you know what? I kind of want to do a traditional home and I wanted to do like a mobile style home, but I felt like everyone else in the club was already doing it. And I was like, you know what? Let me switch things up just a little bit and um, I'll do one of these more like traditional looking homes instead. Again, I, I might just still be considered a trailer home or a mobile home, whatever you want to call it. But like the trailer park by my house is like filled with these things. Um, so yeah, I just kind of rolled with it. I actually had a friend who used to live in one. So I've been inside one and it's basically just a long skinny ranch in a way. It's like a ranch, but not really. It, there are like architectural differences. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before anybody's like, this doesn't look like a mobile home. It is, trust me. I live by a bunch of these. I just wanted to switch things up, okay? <laughs> and I didn't want to mimic everybody else's style because I noticed, I was like, oh, how am I gonna do the roof? And I was like, hmm. Like, let me look at, um, it's like Zim instead's, uh, you know, mobile home or like whoever's. I don't really know whose was whose, but I can assume based on like their, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, design aesthetic, I guess, based on their other builds. But then I was like, eh, but I don't want to copy anybody. And I was like, you know what? Let me just bang this out real quick. I had a small idea for it and I think I got this build done really fast. So again, uh, sticking with that whole, just being confident in myself for once and actually getting these done with a reasonable amount of time. So yay for that. But just wanted to get that out of the way because I don't want anybody to like criticize me and be like that doesn't look like a trailer and I'll be like well it's not necessarily a trailer but trust me just just trust me okay Ugh, god anyway I'm awkward um <laughs> but anyways I've also noticed lately that I've been using a lot of the like cats and dog stuff which okay yeah it's a new expansion pack so obviously I want to experiment with it but um I know a lot of my viewers probably don't even have cats and dogs so I really do apologize um I'm thinking about starting a series someone actually suggested this to me i wish i could remember who they were off the top of my head but someone suggested to me in the comments on one of my old videos that i should do this series where um i do like one pack only builds so like say base game and then cats and dogs or base game and then city leaving uh city leaving leaving the city <laughs> oh goodness but yeah, like stuff like that. So I definitely want to try that. I'm also planning to do the solid color challenge um, series really soon. I've seen lots of people do like, you know, building houses in like one color. Um, I'm probably not going to go really, really hardcore with it because I know I've seen some houses where it's like, oh, I did a red house and literally everything is red and that's it. I would probably do like a red house and then like keep the elements inside, like, you know, close to red. Anything that like has a red in it, I guess. Um, not necessarily just like, oh, it has to be pure red, otherwise I'm not using it. I don't wanna go that hardcore. I still want the, not that the houses wouldn't look nice per se, but I don't know. Like, do you get what I mean? I just, I don't wanna go that hardcore with it. <laughs> oh my goodness, but um, good thing you guys don't mind about talking about the build, because I'm sitting here talking about like other series that I'm planning, and meanwhile the build is going on, but someone actually just told me that they would prefer to hear like, story is just listening to me ramble about something else because it's like the build is happening in front of you you don't necessarily need me to narrate what's going on for you like oh yes um we just paused for a moment and now i'm putting in some new wallpaper 
oh yes, um, and now I'm picking up some tiling for the kitchen. Like, okay, no, no shade whatsoever to people who do that because some people who I watch, like I think Hatsy does it, she does talk about her builds a lot. I really, really, really loved her um, Hogwarts build. If you haven't seen it, check it out. She built like the Hogwarts castle and I think she did it twice actually, which that is insane to me. She builds amazing stuff and she does talk about her builds, but she talks about it in like an interesting way. So if I'm distracted and I'm doing something on my own, but I want to like watch her build and kind of learn how she like, you know, figured stuff out, um, that's helpful to me. But I just feel like someone like me, like, like I just said, like, oh yeah, I just put in a thing on the wall and now we're picking out flooring. Like, I wouldn't know how to talk about it in an interesting manner that would keep you all like here to listen to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no shade to anybody who does that because they do it, you know, really well. I'm just, I'm not that good at it. So I just like to sit here and ramble. So yeah, I'm glad to know that you guys like listening to my nonsense, but um, moving on to the living room right now really quickly. Now this, okay, this little bump out, I have been thinking about making like a dining room, but I knew we really need a dedicated sitting area. So I eventually throw in a dining table. It's not in the best location, but I was just kind of working with what I gave myself. So if you download this home and you want to, you know, adjust things and by all means go ahead. Um, but you know, I was just thinking, you know what, we're going to go like really simple, not super duper over the top, not superly, uh, superly nice. Yeah. Not superly nice. We're going for, you know, a, a trailer park home, a mobile home, whatever you want to call it. And I know this doesn't look like a mobile home, but it is. Just trust me, okay? Pictures! Ah, I'm trying to provide proof and I hope that I am. I hope that I remember when I'm editing this. But then again, um, I like to edit out all my ums and my breaths, or at least maybe not all of my ums, but like some of them. So, you know, I kind of have to watch this over again anyway, so I should definitely remember to throw in some pictures. So anyway, that was weird. How are you guys doing? <laughs> when you guys are watching this, it's, uh, I was about to say it's Tuesday. No, it's Tuesday for me, but it'll be tomorrow for you guys when you're seeing this. So how are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments below. I like to know how your days are going and what's going on in your life and stuff like that. You know, I like to stay connected with y'all because we're a family and you know, nah, stuff. Ooh, we're at 285 subs. So we're only 15 away from 300. Isn't that crazy? Oh, and don't forget that I am doing a stuff pack giveaway. Stuff pack. I must stress stuff pack. I know that everyone like knows what I'm talking about, but I think one person like thought that I was giving away game packs. No, I'm giving away a stuff pack. Um, those are the $10 packs. You know, there's like a million of them. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking about maybe giving away two, but don't don't quote me on that because money is a little bit tight right now. But I've been wanting to do a giveaway. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a while. And so I just figured, oh, well, with the holidays here, you know, it's just kind of a good time to like have an excuse to do it. But money is tight, like I said. So I'm, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber who like gets EA codes from EA to give away, you know, like how um, bigger simmers can like give away like four codes to cats and dogs and stuff like that. They typically get those codes from EA. Sometimes they do buy them themselves. I'm not saying that they don't, but when you're like, you know, a bigger YouTuber, um, they might send you codes to give away. I'm not anywhere near that point right now. So like I'm buying this pack with my own money and like I said, money is tight right now because it's around the holidays. I'm kind of contracting right now, but it's a sticky situation. Waiting to hear about this other job that I might have and like, uh, yeah, by the way, still haven't heard back. I'm kind of panicking, but I know it's the week before Christmas. So like, I don't know what, you know, I'm expecting. Like obviously people are gonna be taking vacation time. They want to be with their families. So uh, my mom, when she got her job like two years ago, she had been laid off for a bit and she got her job. She went through the same thing. She had an interview right around like Thanksgiving. And then, you know, once you get into December, it's like, it's Christmas, like that's it. So she went through the interview process like I did. And then she had to wait for like, I think a month or two to finally like know that she had this job just because like people, like the hiring manager was on vacation, stuff like that. So it was like, oh God. So I'm kind of going through that right now and it's really stressful, but I'm trying to keep my hopes up because I think it went really well and, you know, but like I said, money's a little tight. I have to buy this pack with my own money. EA, sponsor me, give me codes. Uh, like, no, I'm kidding, but not really. Sponsor me, please. <laughs> uh, I'm family friendly, I promise. I just make some speed builds. I don't know why YouTube demonetizes them, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I have to buy with my own money. So I'm planning on giving away one stuff pack. I might make it two. Um, but just count on one. If I make it two, I'll let you know. 
But anyways, yeah, so that ends this Friday. I have the, you know, time limit for 12 a.m. on Friday. So that does not mean that you can, like, you know, submit into it on Friday. Um, it's ba I probably should have just said, like, you know, oh, um, Thursday at 11.59 p.m. Because that kind of makes more sense. So I guess you kind of have a minute on Friday to do it if you're up at 12 a.m. my time. But um, yeah, so I'll be announcing the winner uh, later on that day. I just figured it's kind of like a good day to end it because I gave it a week and then also you have like a couple days before Christmas so kind of gives you some time to play before the holiday and then like you know you can pick out like what pack you want so if you're asking for packs for Christmas you can say like oh well I don't need this one anymore because I got it from Nat or something like that. Or if you want to, um, I know a couple of people mentioned that they want to give their packs to friends for birthdays or for Christmas presents which I think is like really really sweet so if you want to do that too. But oh goodness, we're in the screenshots already. So <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, oh, follow me on all my social medias. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.